Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from World of VFX. So welcome back to our channel once again. And after a long time, this is Unreal Engine video. And today we are trying to create this type of uh, small environment inside of Unreal Engine 5.3. And let's get started. So guys, uh, this is Unreal Engine 5.3. And uh, this is a very basic thing. So first of all, we need to go file new level and let's make it to empty level. Let's create. Now, if you want, you can create a custom light setup right from the beginning. So go to environmental light and mixer click 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 and it's done so you have a basic light setup which is based on lumen so first of all go to environmental height and fog go down to this volumetric fog check this on then go to skylight and type real time and make sure this should be turned on so what happened whenever you just click ctrl and l you can simply rotate the sun like this also we have a plugin called good sky if you just go to this blueprint you can simply drag and drop this blueprint so that you can instantly create some kind of amazing light setup just turn this off and let's see how much we have this so basically this is a preset kind of thing where you can find n number of uh, you know skypes presets so if you wish you can definitely check this out it's completely free by the way so i don't need this just simply delete and uh, let's turn this all on so this is our basic light setup so now we need to create a landscape so go to landscape and i just uh, make a basic landscape so let's make the selection 2 by 2 and let's make it to 16 by 16 high dense mesh then press create and we have successfully created this landscape and uh, now go to selection mode now we need to add a material but before that we need to add a character to see the you know the heights and all so we have this uh, third party or third person simply drag and drop one character over here so this will helps us to understand the basic size and all how much you need to rotate you know what i'm trying to say the proper project accept ratios and all so that will help us so now we need to apply a material on this ground so i'm just uh, clicking here and material instance so now we have this all materials simply drag and drop into your material properties just like this and after a few seconds it will start applying as you can see it's applied also i'm just changing the material with this one and it's pretty nice yes the scaling of the material it's pretty decent and always focus from this character so it will helps you to understand now this is very fast moving so i'm making it to two so now yes this movement is pretty decent all right now we need to create a ocean shader so just click here and it would type one called ocen ocean you can find out the water body ocean but we are not trying to create any ocean we're trying to make one lake or river so i'm just typing a river this is called water body river simply drag and drop into here and now as you can see it start applying the river and it's nice so first of all we need to change the motion or position of the river so just change the position and the river is very high dense mesh so that's why you need to make it very precisely and it's done select the character press f to fit to screen so now as you can see it's already started looking real isn't it uh, start giving comments so that what kind of tutorials you guys are actually looking from my channel so now before doing anything you need to make a basic basic camera setup so based on the character we need to make our basic camera setup so i'm selecting this as in my camera angle and after that what i'll do i'll just go to this option and go to add a level sequence and then camera and then just press save and once you have save we will open one uh, timeline over here now simply click this camera button and you can find out it will automatically jump into your camera view and i already dedicatedly created a video on the camera motion and all you can definitely check them out it's an amazing video and most highly viewed video on my this channel so now just make it to 30 mm prime lens and make it to dslr so now this look pretty pretty nice and i'm just making it a bit down cinematic wise and let's change the focus distance to some kind of of this character so okay this area is now in focus rest is in out of focus so whatever we'll create it will create from this camera angle slightly focus up yes and it's done also you can check the main settings like curve settings it will basically change the height inside of the water and this is a fall off and also it will just change it to 
200 so this will change the water fall off if you decrease it like 100 you can see the fall offs are changing based on your fall offness and all so let's create something on this area so let's jump from this camera view to normal view and uh, first of all we need to add some foliage over here and trust me it's very easy to create so let's change the speed to let's say five once again and it's wow it's too fast all right so now go to content browser once again go to this foliage so now you can create anything based on this so first of all i'm just clicking the static mesh turn off this material instance so we have these many trees over here pressing all so that whatever contents i have as in static mesh i can see right from here also i can simply select a specific option like uh, european option so now we have all these trees over here so if you have nanite enable just simply right click and you can simply turn on this nanite so basically it will help you to obviously understand the materials in easy or uh, it will not lag your computer so i'll select few trees like one two three and let's say four and five simply drag and drop into here so now it's automatically it will, it will take some time to apply because all nanite enable and based on your gpu cpu it will take some time to apply but once it's apply it's completely working smoothly so once it applied successfully it will automatically did your auto save process so now as you can see it's applied over here and now let's create some foliages over here so first of all i need to select all this and i need to increase the brush size a bit and paint density is 0 0.6 now if i click right now it will create all the trees together over here but i don't need this i need a very you know gaps so what i do first of all the scale so minimum scale and maximum scale let's make it to 2 and uh, after the density let's make it to 10 and now let's start creating over here so i'm just clicking one so now let's see the few trees coming up like this and it's looking just amazing so i'll not create more because i will create trees only my visible areas so these are the my visible areas so that's why i'm creating trees right from here also you can cynically go to your cine camera actor simply go to the cine camera actor so this is your camera so let's say i have set up my camera angle somewhere here and whatever trees i'll create it will create only this area now decrease the brush size and i'll just turn on the single instance mode so i can create a tree at a time single trees like this so click it also click it one here so that i can see no okay let's delete it and i'll create few trees on the back side so that it can hide and it can create some you know depth of field kind of thing see it's already looking pretty pretty nice going up to see how much tree i created over here so i'm just creating few trees to make more depth and it's nice also i'll create some big trees let's say three so these are the big trees which actually helps me to create more depth all right and it's done now let's get back to your camera view simply click and it will directly go to your camera view now if you notice there is uh, less you know that um, stones and all so what i'll do i'll go to this contain browser and uh, from here i need to select few stones which i have already rural australia pack and simply i need to go to this foliage tab i need to uncheck all this because right now i don't need this and i need this stones so i'm just selecting these stones with few small trees something like this we drag and drop and it will come like this and let's create some stones now it's pretty big so what i'll do i'll just um, select all this go down and let's decrease the size to let's say 0.5 and yeah yes it's done it's pretty nice in good shape actually so let's create few to maintain the environment also i'm just turn off the single instance mode so that i can create very faster also create here as well now these are the things which actually making your scene more realistic okay so always focus before doing anything all right it's done now get back to your selection viewport so this is the main camera view now let's change some light setup so that we can actually see how much light is actually applying from the top view and uh, so i'm just trying to check the lights 
so the lights are actually hitting just from the you know trees so i'm just pressing control and l and you can definitely check how much light is actually interacting with all these trees and it's obviously looking pretty nice now go to main camera view and now let's add some more environmental fog so simply go to this experimental hide experiment hide and fog and uh, just simply increase the size let's say 5000 so how much you increase the size in up it will exactly increase the environment fight and you can notice the fogs are interacting also you can change the fog density to 0 0.05 and it's wow control and l to check more light and always when when i uh, do this type of light changes and it's every time it's mesmerizing all the light setup the hitting from the skies and it's nice it's really nice let's do some basic camera animations and press this uh, keyframe and go to last frame and simply go down just you know the touching the water surface and slightly up a bit it's very very cinematic and just press this keyframe button once again and once you play this is your camera animation which is looking really really amazing and that's it this is it for today and if you find out this video is really helpful for you definitely you can comment and talk about the rendering i already have created successful rendering video on my channel please go and check and with this way you can create a really fun loving short and simple you know cinematic shots inside of your scene unreal engine 5.3 my name is rajat i'll see you very soon in my this channel world of vfx till then subscribe and uh, keep watching Bye bye